What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you a new feature in Vegas Pro 15, and that's how to hide or show buttons. So here's Vegas Pro 15, and of course this right now I'm going to be showing you is a new feature to Vegas, and I think it's a very smart idea, and it's very useful as well. For example, it makes the timeline much more bigger, because usually this bar over here is probably taking up that much of the screen, along with all the buttons up here. But now we can always just push this back to how it usually is and our buttons will be hidden over to the side up here. Now, of course, it might be a bit of an inconvenience for you to come here and select it all the time. So this is what you do to make it visible here. You press them three lines, edit visible button set. Now here, the ones that are checked are the ones that will be showing right next to here. So for the ones that I personally use a lot is track motion is number one. And for the rest of them, I don't use. So I can select OK. Now what that's done, on all of my video tracks, you can see track motion is directly here. So I can select it and it opens up like that. I no longer have to come here, come and select it here. Now the same applies for audio track. All we have currently is the mute and the solo button. So if we come here to three lines, you can see there's a bunch of other things here that we are missing from here. Select edit visible button set. From here, you can select ones that you would like to be shown down here. Now, if I select show all and select OK, you can see all the buttons come up and it's just simple. So again, more edit visible. Then if you want to uncheck them, you can select hide all. And the ones I want is mute and solo because they're the ones I'll be using the most. Select OK. And there we go. It's back to normal. Now there's also another place where this visible buttons exist. It's actually right here. So you can see it says more buttons, select it. And on Vegas Pro 14, all of these buttons will be displayed across this bar here under the video. Now one thing it is definitely missing, which I actually liked using, is the button where it says play from the start. Because you'll see if I'm here, I can't press a button that plays from the start. I first have to drag this line back, then play it. Of course, you can always come down here all the buttons are down here but for me i've always used the buttons up here the buttons down here haven't been useful for me but again to show it select the three buttons select edit visible buttons and the ones i use again loop playback play from start and previous and next frame select ok and there we go so there's the loop there's the play from start here's the normal play button here's the pause here's the stop here's the frames and then of course we have more buttons if we want to edit them. Now it's not just there we can use it as well. You can see on the tracks itself there is this on the video. So we currently see our crop and our effects but if we press the three lines we can also see the playback rate and the freeze frame cursor. Now you can edit the visible button set again and you can see this is what you can select from and that is optional if you want to. Same for the audio. So the audio, three lines and this time it's just active take information, edit the button set. That's the only one you're missing, which you probably won't be using.